Invincible Series 1 Episode 4 Title Neil Armstrong Eat Your Heart Out. Now, this episode is a really good episode, but the weird things are with this episode is the main thing, which is Invincible, Mark Grayson, and is Shadow, you know, secret protecting these these astronauts who are heading to Mars and and make sure they don't get attacked by face huggers and Martians and make sure everyone's safe and that whole thing. It's one of the situations where like right now it feels very story wise and narrative wise it they, they felt there's no need for that there except the whole the whole thing of like this is a superhero thing and there might be a bunch of people who will probably expect us to have an action sequence every episode so we're just gonna have this uh we'll pick the part where you know uh, Vincible is in is fine martians and face huggers and that whole thing we'll do that because that, that's what it is in this episode but with the little hints that happens after those events happen it does feel like okay okay they're going to do the it, it might be meaningless now but might will be important later on in the other half in the other half shit we're halfway we are halfway we got <laughs> i just realized it's an eight episode season and we're on episode four and it's week two and we're always it's always halfway it's, it's just one of those odd things but the real stuff that makes this episode really well done is the relationships is the human drama of it and also the mystery like we all know who killed the guardians but it's also but what makes it interesting is the whole how are characters going to find out how they're going to find out it's that type of mystery and what is the response is going to be how is um was it orca man he forgot the invincible's dad how he's how he's going to try to do things like it does feel right now knowing that he's like the only guy in left he's part of the og and that whole thing it does feel a little bit of oh my son's here now Oh, it turns out he has powers. We should, we too should, can be heroes or, because there's a part where like, he's with, he ha he's having a date with his wife, and this thing behind him is a dragon firing, you know, fires and explosions and you know, push out all that. And you know, the wife, his wife is going and saying, um, dude, you're um, behind you. He's like, push out. Uh, well, let's see what else does it. And you're like, he's right now having a, a sense of, I don't care. The sense of initially him being, feeling invincible. Because he is invincible. You know? And, and it is kind of like his downfall. It is a little bit of him thinking he's hot shit. And there is that really... With, and there's that aspect of things. Also, I love the line. I really love the line where, you know, it's the whole thing where, oh, you know, the, 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 the teenagers tell one, the parents, that, you know, they're going, they are going on a date and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then parent X tells parents Y, and they're like, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, Marco, he's going to have a, a bit of a date. Yeah. And guess what? They're taking, and he's going to take him, take her out. And you're like, wow, girls, we really like when you take them out. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, you want to be a little bit specific on the location, <laughs> location of where you want to, like, have your date. Unless it's the idea of, like, uh, we'll figure it out when we get along. Um, we'll figure it out. I'm new to this, that, you know, that type of thing. But, yeah, the opening was a little bit questionable. Um, with the A.I. Jones mummy type thing, but my guess is that kind of falls in the category of things will be explained later. Um, or maybe that's the life before, like, Robot before Robot. A little bit of, uh, um, Robot Man from Doom Control. Uh, a little bit of that. 
Um, trying to do any more speculation, but here's the thing: is a show that I was, it's been why some episodes I'm like, ah, eh, this some episode, oh my god, some episode yeah, that was good and yeah, that was mad. So it's been a roller coaster of a show for me, but this episode is a win for me, absolutely a win.